Oh boy. Well, it's back to work I go. So the day has, uh, the day has come that I need to head back into the office and uh, I don't know, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. I feel nice. Um, it has been several months since I've been into the office. I kind of don't know what I'm heading into for the most part. I know we've got some measures in place to keep everybody safe. Um, but we're gonna see how today goes and uh, follow me along for the journey. One thing that's pretty good about this so far is that I just pulled up to the GO station where I'm going to get on my train and head into town. Um, but take a look at this. This parking lot is empty. At this hour of the morning, it is usually jam-packed with cars. You can't get a spot and I'm parked way in the other lot. But this morning, I'm nice and close to the actual, I guess, terminal. So <laughs> first thing first is a good, good, uh, good sign. First thing I notice is that we've got a lot of new equipment and uh, hand sanitizers and all that kind of stuff. But I don't know if you can even hear me in this damn mask, but yeah, here I am. All right, so the first mistake I made was, uh, you know, I'm so used to taking the train at a certain time that I actually didn't check to see what time the trains are coming. And right off the bat, I can tell you that the train I normally take at 747 doesn't exist anymore because we're still on hourly trains. And so my train is coming a few minutes later than I expected, which means I could have been at home made some coffee or stopped at McDonald's or Tim Hortons or something to get some coffee but um, yeah I'll just have to wait around for an extra couple of minutes before I can get on this train and get to work So I've just stepped outside for a break. I got into work this morning and uh, I gotta say, it's very eerily quiet here in downtown Toronto. Uh, getting off the GO train or being on the GO train was way too quiet than what I'm used to. And then um, walking up the street, walking around the property that I work at, it's dead quiet. Inside the building is quiet. My office looks pretty cool with all the different decals and signage. I was greeted by a nice package with a couple of face masks and hand sanitizer and a stylus pen and a few other things. So it's been pretty good. So I'm just watching a Lamborghini drive by. Um, so it's been good, uh, <clears throat> but it's it's eerily quiet downtown. So uh, I'm gonna head back in and uh, see you guys in a bit.
not really sure how I feel about being down here. Uh, I'm back to the office because you got to be back to the office, but it really is just completely dead down here. So far it hasn't been so bad. I mean, I'm, I am having to wear a mask while I'm indoors. Um, not at my desk, which is good. Uh, but riding in the elevator, you gotta wear a mask. It's crazy, down here is an absolute ghost town. This is, uh, this is Wellington Street, kind of approaching Young Street, and uh, as you can see, it's dead. And again, usually Young Street is, is pretty, is pretty busy these times of days. But uh, stuff is closed down, COVID signs everywhere. So I'm just heading up Young Street so that I can get to uh, another one of our properties to do a property visit. It's the good part of my job where I don't have to be stuck to a desk all day. Um, and I do get to walk around and go help other, other buildings. But uh, again, as you can see, it's pretty dead. I'm so not used to uh, it being so quiet like this. So it's home time and uh, I've made it through my first day back to work. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. However, strange to be seen is uh, how busy downtown will get eventually. that's over I wonder how long this is gonna last when I can actually park this close to the uh, to the parking deck all right so I'm back in the car after my day has been completed and I'm about to head home and relax head home and relax now the one thing I noticed the most was this I was in a mask for, collectively, I was in a mask for maybe, maybe an hour. Maybe an hour. And um, here's the problem. Schools are gonna start in September and they expect kids to wear a mask the whole daggone day not gonna happen absolutely not gonna happen um it was annoying having to continuously pick it uh take it on take it off gotta go use the washroom gotta put a mask on going for a coffee gotta put a mask on i get all the um all the measures that are in place but i'm just thinking about my son who was supposed to go to school in september and wear a mask all day not gonna happen absolutely craziness that's all i can say about that the one thing i gotta say i enjoyed the most was putting back on some fresh clothes i mean i've been in jogging pants and short pants and t-shirts and wife beaters all kinds of stuff since march and it felt really nice to just get uh redressed back up redressed back up get dressed back up and uh, actually feel like I was being productive. It's definitely nice being in the office as much as it is being home, I gotta admit. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't know what I was talking about. I've been in a mask for longer than an hour. My trip into work is about 40 minutes each, roughly, give or take, both ways, and I'm in a mask on transit the whole way, and then I'm in a mask as I move around bits and places during the day. So, correction on that one. I've been in a mask longer than that today. But regardless, it's still too long. My son's not going to be sitting in a mask 
for like a full six, seven, eight hours in a day. So, um, it's a correction on that one, I guess. But having said all of that, I am probably going to try driving to work next time because, uh, sitting on the train in a mask is actually really uncomfortable. You can't breathe, you're stuffy. Um, it's a good thing I got gum, man, because listen, you eat some, you know, Jimmy the Greek and you gotta put a mask on and walk around, you be smelling that onion and stuff. It's not good for you, so. My word of advice to all of you guys that are wearing masks all day long, get yourself some gum. Keep the breath fresh. And just like that, I'm back home. Um, just like that, I'm back home. Another day done. Another day. So until next time.